Avatar Way of the Water making $2.1 billion at the box office. Most of the people I know, except for two people, have not seen Avatar The Way of the Water. Yep, despite this movie making about, it's going to made about $600 billion domestically, nobody has seen it. Maybe I'm best part of a people who don't like Avatar, but most people I know have not seen it. Of course, you know, I don't want to see Avatar 2. I don't like the first movie. And it's my choice if I don't want to see Avatar 2. Okay. Maybe I might see it eventually. Three. But to me, Avatar 2, that's why does it exist? But again, I guess we have to answer the question because it made $2.1 billion at this current moment. But why? Why don't people... How could these movies make billions of dollars? Yet nobody... Put Avatar as the favorite film, or one of the favorite films of all time. Go on to any discussion about the greatest films of all time. Go on to Top 10s, The Raker, YouTube, Redboxed, IMDb. Avatar is very into discussion. You have you all have some younger people waking Avatar Way of the Water as one of the greatest films of all time, but they'll have like six. They only see the new movies. Okay, they're basically you know newer to movies. But if you have seen lots of films, Avatar The Way of the Water is not a movie that people, and, and the first movie, are not movies that people ha held, hold in high regard, basically. These are not movies that really held in high regard. Let's compare it to other movies, okay? If you get greatest movies, well, they're just going to tell you whatever is new, or stuff that you could, that you're interested in. So this is not really a big metric. Top 250 movies of all time. If Avatar was truly one of the greatest movies of all time, well, guess what? These are the top 10 movies. And you can scroll down and see what Avatar is. Of course, this is of all time, but you'd think that Avatar would be on a list like this. You'd think, you know, Avatar would be on a list like this. But you go down and down. It's the same thing with the Redder Box list as well. You know, as well, of course, this game, this list is gonna get more and more complicated as the years goes on. But down to 250, that is with rules. If we go far higher and higher, you see that Avatar is not on this list. Okay, Avatar is not on this list at all. Avatar is not on the list as well. But this is, of course, by ranking. This is the this is by how people ranked it. Okay, by by the Average score. What was the top 100 movies that you should watch immediately? Where was Avatar? Where was Avatar the top 100 movies and Avatar the Way of the Water? I don't know when this was published, but again, oh, this year. What movies are the top 10? Well, well, we'll, we'll scroll down to see if Avatar is anywhere. Well, now in the top 20, but again, Avatar is what we had to discuss it, when people discuss the greatest films of all time. People don't say, oh yeah, Avatar. Despite Avatar making $2.9 billion and Sequel making $2.1 billion, people don't really discuss it, like the higher levels of film, because people don't really think Avatar is as great as other films. Avatar isn't that great of a movie, okay? We have the best, we can look at like the greatest movies of all time, by the top 10s, and other lists as well. Look at the average scores of Avatar compared to all the other movies. Avatar isn't as well regarded as other movies. But even when it comes to disgusting films, okay, <laughs> Avatar is very on the 100 best movies of all time lists. Sometimes it is, but usually they don't really ever include it, because especially on a vulnerable list. As well, because Avatar as a movie, the peep it's just a movie that people don't talk about. People always talk about the how much money Avatar made, and most of the people don't care to see it. But somehow these movies make a lot of money. Somehow the the Avatar movies make a lot of money, and this is the biggest puzzle in the history of film. How could two movies make four, five billion dollars? Okay, Avatar one and two make five billion dollars. Okay, but nobody talks about Avatar. Okay, 
when it comes to memes. Well, Avatar The Way of the Water has been out memed by two movies that go significantly less than it. Parson Boots The Last Wrist and Megan. Okay, more people talked about Megan because of the dance in the movie. More people made me, there were so many memes, edits, and videos of Parson Boots. Again, Parson Boots is already on digital. No, Avatar Way of Water has no digital release date. Megan and Parson Boots and Rasmus both have digital release dates already. Avatar Way of Water does not have it. So maybe you have to wait until it comes out on digital. But again, I doubt there could be many memes about Avatar. And it seems that people are talking about in film, people are talking about another movie. That came out around the same time as Avatar. Of course, I already mentioned that movie. And that is Puss in Boots the Rats Wrist. And it's kind of sad that the Oscars didn't put this movie on running for the best picture. But they put Avatar. Considering the fact that it has a higher IMDb score. People are actually talking about this movie. And it has a way higher score on Rotten Tomatoes. As well. But again, we all know why it isn't nominated for best picture. Why? Because, you know, it's a, it's a kid's movie, you know. When the old the Oscars still fuse animated movies, you know, tip, you know, basically the boomer logic of animated movies. Okay, the same old, same old animation is for kids. It's so sick and annoyed after a while, okay. And I get it. Boomers and Gen X grew up in a time where animation was seen as dust for kids, okay. They were basically back in the day, we all know, you could, you know, you quote unquote grew up. Okay, grew out of things. Okay, you know, it was kind of the way things were. But ever since the internet came around, things have definitely changed when it came to it. The Nintendo game, and we could go over the whole idea of animation, and it's not just animated movies, it's video games. Okay, like Nintendo, Sonic, Pac Man. Okay, all three. Oh, I caught Nintendo is an iconic company. Sonic is an iconic gaming series, and Pac-Man is one of the most recognizable characters of all time. But all three characters are, uh, are seen by the same brands as kids' characters. Okay, adults cannot enjoy Mario, Sonic, and Pac-Man either. The same as usually they, you know, it's just so weird that we still have these arguments. But again, the Oscars is won by boomers. But again, Person Boots is way more talked about. And way more disgust. I have seen way more videos of people talking about Puss and Boots. About how great it is. And how amazing the movie is. And how Death is such a great and amazing villain. I have seen like 10 edits of Death. And zero edits of Avatar's characters. Because really. As much as as much as people would say how iconic Avatar is as a film. <laughs> the only thing really going for it. Is it's visual effects. And even then. Then. Avatar isn't that great, isn't even the greatest when it comes to visual effects. Okay, stuff, uh, you know, 2019, you had Ryan King remake, you had Arena Battle Angel, and the Godzilla movies. Okay, and also Godzilla vs. Kong in 2021. Okay, Avatar's visual effects, it works the same as the first movie. Okay, you know, basically, but basically they use newer technology. Okay, the same technology that Arena Battle Angel used. And you know what the most saddest thing in the world is? They didn't nominate Arena for best, you know, visual effects. But it's so hell have put Avatar on now. Which for the souls that the Oscars hated Arena for some weird reason. Said, the one award that Arena saw been nominated for, they didn't nominate it for at all. But don't worry, 1917 was nominated for best, uh, best visual effects. <laughs> Even though very little CGI was used in 1975, 19, not 1975, 1917. And yes, 1917 is a very great movie. I'm not knocking that movie in any way. It's one of the best war movies ever made. Okay, but really, they put that movie over, but really, Star Wars sort of knocked out because, God forbid, the, the CGI in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker was awful. It was awful, okay. So really, Star Wars or the Skywalker should be on that list at all. Okay, let's look at Palpatine. This is just the whole entire sequel trilogy is garbage. But again, Avatar was nominated for Best Picture. Does anyone give a shit? No, because nobody gives a shit what the Oscar thinks is Best Picture. They also nominated Top Gun Maverick as well. They nominated the Batman though, which was a big disappointment. Why did they nominate the Batman? 
But again, nobody gives a shit about the Oscars anymore anyways. And the only way to see this movie now is in 3D. So the reason why the movie is making more money than Top Gun is because the only way to see Avatar Way of the Water, at least by what I live, is in 3D. Okay, Top Gun does not have a ride on normal stories. Avatar will ride on 3D and IMAX stories, which are more expensive than normal tickets. That's why Avatar, despite nobody seeing it, has made $2.1 billion. That's the mystery of how Avatar can gross $2.1 billion. And yes, a lot of people have seen this movie and liked it. I'm not trying to diss the people who love Avatar and love Avatar The Way of Water. If you think these are some of the greatest films of all time, then of course, tell everybody. But most people are not going to say, oh yeah, Avatar is the most memorable films of all time. Okay, most people, you know, when it comes to greatest movies and greatest films, most people don't think of Avatar first. Most people don't think of Avatar. And it's funny when it comes to James Cameron movies, Avatar is still less popular in terms of greatest films of all time with than Terminator 2, Aliens, and of course, Titanic. Nick. Again, will these Avatar sequels really stand the test of time? Because just because something makes a lot of money, doesn't mean it'll stand the test of time. I will get you, the Ryan King remake. I will get you, Minions, and Captain Marvel, and of course, the sequel trilogy is all making, and of course, the entire sequel trilogy. But again, we will really just wait to see. Again, maybe Avatar might see a resurgence. There is still some popularity for the series, obviously. The Avatar ride at Disney World is still is actually pretty popular. But other than that, you don't see Avatar toys, Avatar merchandise, Avatar shirts all over the place. You don't see Avatar costumes. So until we start seeing stuff like that, or Avatar books, or even Avatar soup cats, I don't think Avatar is just as, as big as other breakout things like Pokemon, Mario, Fortnite, and of course it comes to movies, Star Wars, you know, being the biggest example, Marvel, you know, Batman, you know, Spider-Man, DC, okay, Sonic the Hedgehog, okay, you know, as well, you know, like, for example, I never seen, for example, another show, another thing called Avatar, Avatar the Last Elbender, is actually way more popular and way more talked about, because whenever you think about Avatar, I don't think about these movies. I think of Avatar The Last Airbender. Because people actually still talk about Avatar The Last Airbender to this day. Okay? People still talk about Avatar The Last Airbender. Because it's a movie that people are going to talk about. Okay? If they made an Avatar The Last Airbender movie, an animated one or a live action one, not the city M. Night Shyamalan movie that nobody liked, I bet people will be talking about it for ends. People making names for it for ends if it's actually a good movie. Okay? People making edits. People will be doing everything. Okay? As well. A movie's a movie has a self-life. It can either be a timeless classic or forgotten. And Avatar is the most forgotten successful movie ever made. Okay. And with the Wild King remake in the Minions, people will be laughing at it for years. People are like, really? Why is the Wild King remake? Or people will be making fun of the Minions for years. But Avatar, there'll be crickets. Because nobody talks about Avatar. Okay, nobody cares about this series. But we're still getting three more sequels regardless of this. Maybe, Avatar might be beloved by the end of the sequels. But at this current point, despite making $2.1 billion, Avatar is a rarely talked about series compared to other films. Star Wars, Toy Story, Despicable B, B, Marvel, DC, Harry Potter, okay? All of those series are still much more talk about and have bigger fan base. Yes, there is a fan base for Avatar out there. Anything has a fan base, no matter how big and how small. Well, but Avatar's fan base isn't as big as others. Yes, the Avatar we squeezed in pretty well. And of course, this movie made $2.1 billion. <laughs> and there's even a whole system called Pandora Syndrome. But Avatar, as a franchise, is the most forgettable, highest grossing movie series of all time. Okay? Every other highest grossing movie series, and even movies that didn't really make that much money, such as, for example, The Star Sake Redemption, okay, is a perfect example of this. Every, people still talk about how great The Star Sake Redemption is until this day, okay? But nobody's like, oh my god, Avatar, I remember it so much. It's so great. 
you have the occasional prototype or avatar, but for something that made $2.9 billion and single made $2.1 billion, I think that avatars should be talked about as much as something like Star Wars or Avengers, okay? Where Avengers came out, where Spider-Man came out, everybody and the dog and cat were talking about Avengers and Star Wars. It's Spider-Man. Oh yeah, I forgot about Star Wars The Force Awakens as well. Jurassic World, when that came out, everybody and the dog and cat were talking about it. Zootopia, when Zootopia came out, everybody was talking about it, okay? Everybody will be the same thing with the Mario movie when that comes out. Everybody, everybody, when the trailer comes out for the Mario movie, the trailers, there's edits, there's memes. People have interest in the Mario movie. But it will still not make as much money as the Avatar and Avatar sequels. Sonic 2 and Sonic 1. People are making memes. People are making edits of Sonic 2. People are talking about it. Despite that Sonic 2 only made $400 million. Okay. So Avatar is essentially the most successful failure of all time. But we still have three more Avatar movies to go. So if Avatar 3 bears the rekindle, you know, Avatar at the heights of talking about film and entertainment. But we'll, or we'll be overshadowed by yet another movie that's fucking going to make way less money, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 versus Avatar 3. The Battle of the Blue Things, yep. <laughs> We're really going to now. Battle of the Blue Hedgehog versus Blue People. Yeah. I would be so surprised if we see a bunch of memes about Sonic the Hedgehog 3 over Avatar 3. Yeah. Yes, people say it's a good movie, but nobody is really, you know, going around saying it's a masterpiece, one of the greatest films of all time. Some people are, well, but not as much as something like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, and even other movies this year, The Batman, Sonic 2, and, of course, Top Gun Maverick. Which everybody was talking about Top Gun Maverick. So really, the real winner at the box office of the holidays was Parson Boots the Rast Wrist. Which reminded you, how much money did Parson Boots the Rast Wrist make? $342 million. Okay, yet everybody, the dog and cat, are talking about Parson Boots the Rast Wrist. But nobody and the dog and cat has seen Avatar. So, Avatar is the still... Like Dookie said, no, not Dookie said, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong YouTuber. The critical trigger said, the most successful failure of all time. Time. Which is truly the most hilarious thing in the world. As well. Maybe if when Avatar comes out digital, people will be making memes about it, talking about it as well. But again, Avatar, as well as a series, yeah. Isn't really doing as well as... Parson Boots, the Rasmus. So that's basically this video. Goodbye.